CBS News, Sacramento. Reports are circulating. The federal government did not pay for a fallen Roseville Marine's flight to her final resting place at Arlington National Cemetery. And Rockland Congressman Kevin Kiley is now demanding answers. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Marley Ginter. And I'm Curtis Bang, but the headline out there, it's not the real story. Tonight, CBS 13's Hunter Sowards is cutting through what really happened. Yeah, a lot of people wanting answers to this one, guys. To avoid having Marine Sergeant G's remains sent to Arlington National Cemetery on a commercial airline, we've now learned a nonprofit actually secured a donation to send her in a private jet. So it has many asking the question, should the government cover that $60,000 bill? The last photo that she posted um, where she had a baby in her arms saying, I love my job, um, truly uh, an inspiration. Sergeant Nicole G. of Roseville was one of the 13 American service members killed in a suicide bombing as the U.S. pulled its troops from Afghanistan in 2021. The military transported the 23-year-old back to Roseville to be honored here, but her family then decided to have her buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Reports now circulating that the government did not cover that cost. I was I was truly shocked. Congressman shocked. Kevin Kiley wants so, to know why, uh, have, writing this letter to the defense secretary. We're not uh, being accusatory in any way. We just want to know what happened, and we want to make sure this doesn't happen again. CBS 13 is getting answers. The Department of Defense tells us it'll cover commercial transport and says they have no record of the family requesting reimbursement. And we've learned it was a nonprofit called Honoring Our Fallen that stepped up to transport her remains on a private plane. The founder, Laura Herzog, tells us to avoid having her remains be transported via commercial airline. I personally secured an in-kind donation of a flight and a private aircraft. Fortunately, in this case, um, there was a nonprofit that supports Gold Star families that stepped in. So, of course, we reached out to the military about this. They say that it takes the transfer of remains of Marines very seriously, adding they never leave a Marine behind. We reached out to Sergeant G's family, but did not hear back. And, guys, important to note also that uh, today in one month will be two years mm -hmm. since that suicide uh, bombing happened there in Afghanistan. It so. just goes to show, though, that sometimes headwinds go out there and they create right. a whole story of sure. themselves. It's not exactly uh, what the story was. This was a classic case of, of just that. A yeah. lot of pieces to this puzzle. Glad so we glad. were able to whittle that one mm -hmm. down. And we want to welcome you, the newest member of our CBS 13 family. And guess what? I think I'm going to see you over here. I think yes. you will. Tomorrow. I think we're going to become good friends. Yes. <laughs> Marley and I are already there. Yes, oh, we're already there. We'll so. there. God, we're right. excited to have you, Hunter. Thank you. Right now, the Calaveras County Sheriff's Office.